What is good? Let's test this llama.cpp. It's supposed to be a C++ implementation of llama. They got the 7B. We should definitely be able to run the 65B if I can get it quantized. And I think they have a different system for quantization here that should make this possible. I saw that people were able to do it with 64 gigabytes. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if they're using the 64B. It seems like too nice of a coincidence. But the GitHub's out. Obviously, I'll post a link in the description. If there's anything that makes this easier, I'll make a new GitHub or uh, fools like me to to have an easier time installing this. So I'll come back to you after the install, then I'll delete everything, reinstall it, and we'll try it out, see how it goes. So it looks like these instructions are pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, it doesn't tell you to make the folder, but it should be implied, I guess. Can't really fault them for that. Once you get cloned the repo and you CD into the cloned repo, I don't like the name here. I would change it to an underscore, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, then you set up the make. Uh, you just make the, that's how C++ C works. Um, you just run make and that runs the make file and does all that you really don't have to worry about that and then you place the models if you don't have the models there's a more supposedly official repo i found this on 4chan i'm not sure if that's better than twitter it's up to you it's at your risk i haven't had any problems with the technium weights but those are just as likely to be a terrible horrible virus as these are but supposedly these are straight from facebook so these are supposedly official i'm not sure if they work better i haven't downloaded them i don't have the space but i'll post this link in the description as well again i'm not responsible if this happens to be some horrible virus. Uh, the Technium hasn't been a horrible virus for me yet, but it was just as likely to be. So at your own discretion. Uh, right now I am converting the 65B to the GGML floating point 16 format, and uh, I'll try and quantize next to see if that caps me out. I might have to change my desktop environment. I'll try XFCE, I believe it is. It's in the 65B. Uh, I'm, right now it's 6.3 gigabytes of VRAM. The GPU is not not VRAM. 6.3 gigabytes of memory. VRAM hasn't gone up. I'm not sure if it's going to end up using that. I have everything running. I'm on the Genome Ubuntu Basic. The reason I would switch to the XFCE is it brings down the base RAM of the operating system to about three, maybe two. I think one, actually. I think it's like 1.5 versus four, what it's at now. So that'll save me like three gigabytes of memory, which is kind of negligible. But looks like we're staying pretty chill here. This is a different quantizer tool than uh, what GPTQ was providing. I'm not sure if it's the same. I'm not sure if 4-bit quantization is a universal term and that all 4-bit quantizations have the same end result. So while this is going on, I'll look that up real quick and get back to you. But the GPTQ model, allegedly, 4-bit quantization does not affect inference results, running results. And I think we kind of saw that. I have like an hour-long test video and you can see the results are pretty good. But in theory, the 13B is is supposed to outperform GPT-3, and I don't think we were seeing that even with the floating point 16. So what people say and what is reality is up to you. And what does better mean? Uh, I've been trying to come up with some actual metrics are not ideal. We need something else, some comparison that's not a metric, but some way to take text from one source and text from another source and compare the similarities between those two texts. That's not based on you know the amount of burstiness or all the other parameters that they're using. Something, something uh, more based on the actual text that's produced and comparing that text to the actual text maybe a human would produce or something. Not sure, but I'll come back to you when this is done. I'll let you know how long it takes and we'll go from there. All right, so that was pretty quick. Uh, the code said six, said 60 seconds, which isn't accurate. I'm not sure. This happens a lot. They're kind of all. I timed it at around three minutes, uh, which is not 60 seconds, but either way, it's less than five minutes. Never went up above six gigabytes. Didn't use any VRAM. I I have no idea how this happened. Um, the 4-bit quantization, just doing a quick skim, I will have to do an official video on this for myself. People don't seem to like my explanation videos, but just for my own knowledge, um, it seems that they just have a method of finding the distribution of the weights and trying to create a mapping that captures the used weights in a way that they can take the 2 to the 32 possible numbers and map it to a 2 to the 8, 2 to the 4 possible number. Supposedly the math is similar to the signal processing quantization where they're taking the continuous wave, reducing it to a discrete representation. I mentioned that in the Jukebox Explained video series, so if you want just a kind of quick idea of what quantization quantization is, you check out those videos. This is slightly different, and I think they do a different method, but the idea is still basically the same.
and taking a higher representation and changing the values to a lower value representation while trying to maintain the qualities of the higher value representation. Really, the graphs that I've seen, uh, the lines of accuracy versus model size show that 4-bit quantization using the GPTQ method, and I think there are different methods, but I'm going to assume that they're all equally comparable to one another. Post-training did not reduce accuracy. So let's put this to the test. Looks like we're ready to run. Let's make sure everything's good to go and see what's good. Okay, so I ran the inference once uh, with just the parameters that were specified in the GitHub without changing anything but the model. And I'm pretty sure the T stands for threads and the N stands for the number of tokens to predict. So went with eight threads and 128 tokens to predict. Since there are a number of threads being used, it does not look like there are GPU implementations at this time. I saw that it was taking up about 42 gigabytes of memory and it did look like it was fully using the eight threads that I wanted it to. Or was specified to use. There's some other parameters here, they're all specified in the utils.cpp, and if you don't specify anything, like here, it comes up with a random prompt. It comes up with a random prompt uh, that was generated through some means here. Uh, looks like it came with case 6 built from there. So, I'll show it again, except this time I'll set the prompt, and I'll try maybe adding the color flag, and I will maybe mess around with the parameters here. Alright, so we'll test out Bing, and uh, Bing, Bing chat has been confirmed to be GPT-4. So GPT-4 was released today, but it's Bing chat. Uh, probably not exactly. Obviously, GPT-4 is a big thing, so you can do a lot with these GPT models. But Bing chat is powered by GPT-4, and I believe it because the outputs are pretty good. We have this friendly YouTuber here that suggested some parameters. Uh, I believe it's pronounced Ia Gava. Maybe Gaba, maybe Gaffa. You know, there's a lot of ways to pronounce V. It's, uh, it's one of those letters. Ilya. It could be Ilya. It could be Ilha. It could be Ia. It could just be Ia. Fortunately, this website that being recommended question mark question mark question mark question mark yeah so well this fell we'll go ahead and try these so i asked again but didn't put the word word in there and it came back with an even better response so it is ilia gaba with stress on the first syllables of both words very good response as i've said before bing chat is fire i might do a video on it but for in terms of looking up things that aren't factual based like this is this is factual based but if you're looking for things that aren't based on dates or tables or if you're looking for just kind of the idea of something bing chat is amazing it blows everything out of the water and supposedly it's been confirmed to be on gpt4 this is a complete aside but ilia gava that's who he is thank you for your recommendation we'll try it out okay so let's start running here um <clears throat> first check ls cpu unfortunately we are limited to the cpu for this looks like i have two threads per core 12 cores per socket and one socket so i should have 24 threads available so I'm going to set the thread count to 20 and hopefully those four cores should be enough to handle all the background stuff that's running, which I think should be true because we checked this and it looks like right now it's, it's running two threads. So we'll see what happens. All right, go back to here and we'll change threads to 20. And we'll keep N the same. We'll add, we'll keep the prompt the same. And we will go here and open up this and try and match these parameters by Ia Gaba. So we'll set the top P to zero. We'll set the top K to 67 and the temperature to 0 0.8 and the repetition penalty to. 1.18 now it's very unlikely that i remember all of this but i don't have to so let's go so let's set top p zero dash dash top k 67 i don't um is that okay i mean we'll just we'll just do that okay dash dash 10 to 0 0.8 peat penalty set to okay and now let's see how these outputs compare. It's going to be a different prompt actually, so 
Let me go ahead and set the prompt. I believe it's a dash P. Nope, it's R for some reason. Okay, so dash R, copy, paste, and enter. And enter. Oh, shit. Five. And enter. Right. No zero. No equals. Okay. So now it should be good. Oh, the default is 67 and the top P is zero. So I'll just go ahead and take those out because that's already default. The temp is 0 0.8. So we will go ahead and take that out. And the repeat penalty is 1.2, pretty which is basically 1.18. So, um, oh, okay. So actually we'll go P, it is P and enter. Okay. So what the fuck? Unknown argument of, okay. So there, there, okay. So let's maybe close this in quotes here and that should there we go all right cool so you gotta put the prompt in quotes that makes sense and we're back up to 46 gigabytes we think we started at around 12 and we pretty much have all of the cores firing at about 100 percent the top p and the top k changed even though it says here the default what the hell default change uh that's kind of weird Okay, so well, that's, what the heck is that? The uh, default went from 67 to 40, and I don't even know how that's possible. And the batch size stayed the same. That's weird. I'm not sure what happened there, but you see it here. So I will, I'll change that. It's taken too long and canceled that. Not sure what happened there. Um, maybe 20 threads was too many. So let's go ahead and drop this down to 15, and I'll go ahead and actually set the temp. Oh, temp is defaulted at point eight, and that looks like it stays the same, but... Uh, Jeez. Let's just go ahead and set everything. These are the settings recommended by Ia Gaba. Uh, didn't specify a token generation count, but we'll bring the threads down to 15. Top P at 0, top K at 67, and temp at 0 0.8, with the repeat penalty at 1.18, and we'll keep this prompt. Okay, here we go. So it looks like dropping the thread count seemed to, seemed to make a difference. It doesn't look like it's keeping the prompt at all because i specified r so this is a reverse prompt i i kind of blundered here but it doesn't matter we'll just start with this we'll set the reverse prompt and see how long this takes should be a p you can see how slow these generations are but this is supposedly the 65b which is 65 billion parameters like i thought i wasn't really sure but and we are running on the cpu so i do have school still a exercise symposium that i have to attend in a couple hours um and i do plan on doing a little bit of homework so i am going to stop this video after this generation I'll post another video uh doing more testing and trying out prompts so said that that took about a hundred seconds i think it might have taken a little bit longer than that or total time i guess 131 cool that's that this does work uh works on the 64b very runnable on your system uh if you have above 45 gigabytes of memory i guess most people don't uh apparently it's a meme to have a lot of memory uh but i have never been disappointed with having 94 gigabytes of memory uh, i might even up this to 128 at some point so just get some ram sticks uh i'm sure that there'll be a gpu implementation i'll try and run these weights here in the text gui see if it even works i doubt it will but it might uh probably won't but we'll see what happens and uh, i'm sure that you know probably by tomorrow there'll be a gpu set up appreciate it for watching you can definitely run this on your um cpu let me know how it goes if you have any questions obviously post in the comments shout out to ia gaba for having these recommendations i'm not really sure what difference this made if any and i have played around with these parameters i do want to make that pretty clear and really the temperature is the only thing that i've noticed making much of a difference and obviously the prompt i guess the most the biggest parameter that makes a difference is the prompt then the temperature then after that it kind of is Un unnoticeable by me but you know we'll, we'll try it out see what's good all right have a good day everybody hopefully you guys like this one and uh, we'll have another one tomorrow testing out this version of the llama model a little bit further maybe i'll do a news video i don't know just more stuff in the future be easy peace